Hello everybody, welcome again to this beginner's MPS screencast series. This time I want to talk about text generation. Well, if you remember, we've created this constant definition language that we then are able to convert into Java that we generate so that we can use it in our Java projects. And we use generators. We, we use a couple of mapping rules and reduction rules to reduce a set of constants and constant and constant references into Java. So each of these gets somehow translated into Java code. Now today what I would like to show you is a more um, low-level uh, concept. So instead of generating Java, we'll be generating plain text using the text gen um, aspect of MPS. So we'll get rid of all these generators. I'll remove them because we won't need them anymore. And instead for each of our con three concepts we'll create text generation, text gen aspect so that we'll convert the DSL directly into text. And uh, well in my case I decided I'll go down to Ruby Ruby code. So I'll be, I'll be generating Ruby class with Ruby constants out of uh, MPS code. Okay so now I removed the generators so we have to create text gen aspects for the three concepts we have constants, constant, constant reference so that we so that we can generate Ruby out of out of these concepts. So we start with constants, which is a set of constants. So we create new text gen aspect. Now this is concepts is a root uh, constants is a root concept. So it it will be generated into a file. So we need to uh, give it an extension. So in our case it will be just Ruby. And now here is the code that will output text that will represent the set of constants in Ruby. So what we need to do will append, well the first line will contain a class keyword and the name of the class. So okay so we go append class space. Now we'll append name. So we go dollar which is pro node or property in our case we'll go node dot name so we we'll get name of the set of constants which will translate into name of the class and then we'll go new line now this one we have to get to the end of the line press enter we are on the next line now we need to in increase the indent so we go with indent, and now whatever is in this block will be indented. I mean, we'll have increased indentation. So now we need to append all the constants. So append list uh, node constants. And once we are done with those, we'll append a string end, which is the way to end class definition in Ruby. Okay, so we have one concept done. Let's look at the other one, constant. So now constant needs a text gen aspect. So a constant will be represented as a single line holding, you know, the name of the constant equals the initializer and uh, uh, well that's it. Just one line. So we go append. Now we need dollar node or property no dot name then we need a constant space equals space and now we need the initializer node dot initializer now here's an important point though you know initializer is what if we jump there it's an expression if we jump to expression, it comes from base concept, which is an element of base language. So, base language is supposed to generate Java. So, by if we look back, so by using the initializer directly in text gen this way, 
we kind of rely on the fact that expressions in Java and, and in Ruby are very similar. So we just hope that the code that base language generates out of expressions will be compatible with Ruby, which you know, they, there, might, there might be limits to that. But you know, for the purpose of this demo to show how TechGen works, I think that, as, that is an acceptable shortcut. But you need to be aware that typically you would have to create your own concepts for expressions if you want to generate something like Ruby code you can't typically you can't reuse base language for that that's that this is really this feels a little bit hacky but you know on the other hand you'll save time by watching this demo it will be much shorter compared to if I if I had to create my own version of expressions for this screencast so there are also upsides to it and we finished the line perfect now we're done the last element that remains is the constant reference. So we need to create a text gen for it. And for um, for a reference, we just replace it with the name of the constant it refers to. That should be easy enough. So we just append node, which is the reference. The original, which is the constant definition, well, and that, that has a name. That's that's what we want here. Now, time to rebuild the whole thing. Okay, and now when we try what we get generated, here we go. Well, it is a valid Ruby class, but mm, we lost indentation somewhere. So these should be have should be indented. They're not. So we'll fix that. Uh, back to constant, so each of these lines they should be indented. So when we go to the individual constants, uh, all right. So we should first before we print out the name, we should indent. Uh, we should indent the buffer. So indent buffer. Right. Well, now things should be much better. So again, compilation end. We'll have a look at the constant. What gets generated? All right, perfect. Now it looks beautiful. Okay, so this is valid Ruby code. We generated Ruby out of our DSL for constant definitions. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.